Hello and welcome to Wealthy Trades Options Weekly Select. This is Tyson Clayton. I'm going to go into uh, my favorite options plays that I can find for this week. This is for subscribers only in our premium section. I'm going to do this each week. Uh, it's in the resource tab. You go under premium, and this is where this will be posted. So let's dive right in. These are my favorite plays. Uh, this is one of my favorite ways to use the Wealthy Trades information um, is with options. All right, And how do we do that? Well, if we understand how far something should move, all right, in the probabilities of it moving within certain directions, then we should be able to see if something is overvalued or undervalued. Give you example in Apple, all right? So Apple is one of my favorite plays this week. The reason why is, let's think about this, okay? So Apple closed at 127.10 on Friday. It's got an expected high. It's in an uptrend. And it's got an expected high, and I'm trading only in the direction of the trend. I look for, mainly look for undervalued options, okay? This is how I do it. I use the stats. The 120, so it closed at 127.10. It's got an expected high of 129.92, okay? So that's the expected high, and it's got a 67.3% probability, so historical hit rate of, of, uh, of hitting that level. Well, here's the deal. So this week... I can buy the 127 call, and it's going to be priced for some some price, and, and it'll expire at the end of Friday. Well, if I know these stats, think about this, all right? So I'm going to use a simple calculator here. If I know, let's say I look at the 127 call, because that's the at-the-money call. Well, I know that if Apple should move up to 129.92, and I've got the 127 call, so the call gives me the right to buy Apple at 127. So if it moves up, if it rallies up to 129.92, which it's got a 60, that's the expected high, and it's got a 67.3% chance, probability historically of hitting that, then that 127 call that I buy should be worth $2.92, right? So because I own the right to buy it at 127, and now it rallies, we're going to say it rallies up to 129.92. Well, that will make my call worth $2.92, at least $2. That's not including any time value, okay? Well, how do I know what's a fair value for that $127 uh, call? Well, if it hits that level, historically 67.3% of the time, then I should be able to pay 67.3% of that value that it'll be worth if it gets up there. So again, if I buy the 127, it rallies to 129.92, it'll be worth it'll be worth $2.92. Well, 67% of the time it gets up there. So the fair value on that call will be 67.3% of that expected profit. So the fair value on that call will be $1.97. Okay, so $1.97 is the fair value. Well, I've already priced this out, and I can get, uh, give me a second here, I can get that Apple call, that 127 call based on Friday's closing price, I can buy that for $1.45. So here's my trade. I want to buy the Apple, and this is this is the one I'm talking about right here. I want to buy the Apple 127 call for a dollar forty-five or better or less, and my target is going to be two dollars and ninety-two cents. And why is my target going to be two dollars and ninety-two cents? Because if Apple rallies up and hits one twenty-nine ninety-two, my call will be worth two dollars and ninety-two cents. And so I want to buy it for $1.45, target of $2.92. I'm willing to risk the entire thing. Because if you think about this, all right, let me, let me, let's say that we did this trade a hundred times. 100 times, and the same stats played out. Well, if my target's $2.92 and I bought it for $1.45, my profit potential, if I hit the target, is $1.47. Well, how often should I make that $1.47? Well, historically, it hits that 67.3% of the time. So if I did this 100 times, I'd make that 67 times, right? So I'd make $98.50, we'll say. Well, I'd lose the $1.45 the other 33 times, because if I, I'll win 67 times, then I'm going to lose the other 33 times. Well, I lose $47, let's say $48. Well, I make, if you remember, I made... $98, I'm losing 47 over 100 trades. That's the exact, it's a very undervalued option. I may have just confused you, but the bottom line is I want to buy the 127 Apple call for this week for $1.45 or less. My target is $2.92. Um, I'm going to do the same exact trade, type of trade, 
on Best Buy. Okay, so Best Buy has an expected high of $39.79. Well, I looked at, I'm looking at the $38.50 call, and if it hits $38, and, and uh, or if I buy the $38.50, and it hits the expected high of $39.79, my call will be worth $1.29, right? Well, how much should I pay for that? Well, if it's worth $1.29, and it hits at 51%, 51.9% of the time, it should, fair value is 67 cents. Well, I've already priced this out, and I can buy that for 55 cents. So I'm going to buy the eight, $38.50 call, this week's call, in in Best Buy, 38.50 call in Best Buy for 55 cents or less, and my target's going to be $1.29. So I've got the, at, so, so buy the 38.50, this week's call for 55 cents, target $1.29. I'm going to do the same thing. I've got three more plays. Same thing in Celgene. Celgene has an expected high of $129.69. It hits that 51.9% of the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the 117 Celgene's 117 call this week. I'm going to buy it for $1.50. My target's going to be $3.69. I'm going to buy it for $1.50. My target's going to be $3.69 because that's how much the call will be worth if it hits the upside. I'm willing to risk the entire thing. So on these trades, these are more. These are like binary trades. I'm either gonna, I'm willing to risk the entire amount. So I'm gonna buy the 117 sell gene call for this week for a buck fifty or less. My target's 369. Same with Priceline. Priceline, I'm gonna buy the 1190 dollar call for twelve dollars and eighty cents. My target's gonna be 3142. All right, so I'm risking. 1280 to make sixteen dollars and thirty-one cents, and then in IBB, I'm going to buy the three fifty-seven fifty call for three dollars and fifty cents. Okay, and my target's going to be seven dollars and ninety-five cents. So let me recap these. On Best Buy, I'm buying this week's. These are all this week's thirty-eight fifty call for fifty-five cents. So if you think about what that means, is I'm buying it for fifty-five cents, and my target's going to be a dollar twenty-nine. So I'm risking, all right, I'm risking 55 cents to make 74 cents in profit, and historically I've got a 51% chance. I love that trade. In Priceline, I'm buying the 11.90 call for $12.80. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm risking $12.80 to make, potentially make $18.62, and I've got out 50% probability. That's a great trade. Apple. I'm buying the 127 call for a dollar 45. My target's 292, so I'm risking a dollar 45 to make a dollar 47. So it's about 50/50, but it's got a 67% historical hit rate. Sell gene, I'm buying the 117 call for a buck 50. My target's going to be 369, so I'm risking a buck 50 to make two dollars and 19 cents, and I've got a 50% probability. And IBB. I'm buying the 357.50 for $3.50, so I'm risking $3.50 to make $4.45, and I've got a 53% probability. Those are my weekly options trades. Those are my favorite trades. I'll recap of these at the end of the week, um, but again, it's real simple. Best Buy, 38.50. This week's call, all this week's call, Best Buy, 38.50 for $0.55. Cents. Target, $1.29. Priceline, $11.90 uh, call for $12.80. Target thirty one dollars and forty two cents. Apple one twenty seven call for a buck forty five. Target two ninety two. Cell Gene one seventeen call for dollar fifty. Target three sixty nine. And IBB three fifty seven fifty call for three dollars and fifty cents. Target seven ninety five. I love all these trades. Only with the Wealthy Trades dashboard and Wealthy Trades stats can you come up with trades like this. These are substantially undervalued options. I love these trades. It's putting the probabilities in our in our favor. It's it's defining our risk. I know exactly how much I'm risking. On each one of these trades, uh, Best Buy, I'm risking 55 cents. Priceline, I'm risking $12.80. I know exactly what I'm risking. I know what my target is, and I know I have the probabilities and the odds in my favor. These are the type of trades I want to take every single time, all day, every day. If you have any questions, email me at info at wealthytrades.com. Stay in front of this information. Do not let your your uh, your membership expire. Take advantage of that big discount. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.